Hello and welcome to kinematics. Kinematics is the study of motion. In kinematics we study about the different types of motions. So the variables of interest are the distance the displacement velocity acceleration etc we are not interested in the cause of motion or the how of motion that will come later when we study dynamics but we are really interested in is the properties of the moving particle or the motion itself for example we can answer the questions like where is the particle going to be or we can ask how fast is the particle moving and so on so in this um, series we will talk about the motion of a particle so let's start with motion itself what is motion before we define motion we need to have somebody who can define for us whether a particle is moving or not that is we need to have an observer who can see something moving so motion is actually a relative term what this means is that without an observer there is no motion let's say for example that um, you are holding a book in your hand this is the book and you are walking so if i ask you is the book moving is the book moving now your answer should be no why because for you the book is always in your hands no matter where you go the book stays in your hands therefore the book is not moving according to you but what about someone else who is standing right here this guy sees you moving and since you are moving so he says that the book is also moving so for a moving person who is holding the book both of you are moving at the same velocity and so for you the book is not moving it always stays in your hands but for somebody who is at rest let's say he is sitting somewhere and watching you he will say that since you are moving the book in your hand is also moving and therefore the book is in motion so the point to take from here is the motion is always relative that is we will always need an observer now for us the observer always sits at a very convenient place and we call that place origin so what is origin origin is the place where the observer sits and sees everything so you can define the origin as the location of observer and look at these two lines that i have drawn along with the origin these lines together with the origin form what we call the coordinate system and we need this system to locate the object and object's position only measuring the position is not enough because the object will be moving and so we are interested in finding out how fast something is changing and for that we need to measure the time so there is another variable included that is time so coordinate axis plus time is what we call the reference system or the frame of reference so what is a frame of reference it is a 
time that is a clock attached to a coordinate system in order to understand motion properly we will need some variables to describe all the properties of a moving object we will take a look at that in the next video